So up here on my rock display shelf is a piece of cut and polished Galaxy Stone. Galaxy Stone is actually just a nickname for amygdaloidal basalt and in this one I have so many beautiful pockets with Lake Superior agates, crystal bugs, all over in it. And this is hands down one of my favorite pieces that we've cut in the past and that leads into what we're doing in this video. We're cutting more. We have a whole lot of it with a lot of really, really great potential. And when I told my wife I was going to be cutting up a bunch of galaxy stones, she said, you gotta wear the onesie. Oh yeah. <laughs> and the best part about this thing is, it's all the way up. And I was also going to say that we're going to be putting, sorry, hold on. So I was also going to say that we're going to be putting on a brand new blade to cut this galaxy stone with. So let's go put that on. So we got the brand new 10 inch thin centered blade on and this is the old one. As you can see we're going to be working off all of this uh, red paint or whatever it is. So you'll be seeing a lot of that in the video. We'll just wipe it off. It's no big deal. It doesn't hurt the stone. So I need to fill this up with some water. Let me go fill up a bucket. We have a lot to cut and when I came out here I found a few more pieces like this guy right here. We are absolutely going to cut this. It has so many agate pockets in there. Little crystal pocket. Oh man. Let's let's start with this guy right here. This has some amethyst in it and uh, we'll cut a couple of these too right away afterwards but we'll cut and show this one first. All right, the first cut. Oh, you can see that amethyst right here. It runs deeper from right here. Oh, that is so cool. I'll, uh, we'll cut it one more time right along here. We'll see how, how deep that amethyst runs. Let's take a peek at that. Oh, that is really cool. Pretty cool little amethyst running deep in there that's pretty neat and we're gonna cut these ones up now definitely looks like there's a get going on you can see right there I don't think that's gonna run much deeper but we're gonna cut it right along here and go from there and then this one we'll cut it a few times right there so it looks like we already got a natural sneak peek on this one nothing nothing going on in there this guy right here little itty bitty egg pocket right here some more little looks like probably very micro quartz pockets not as interesting as some of the other ones i've cut we'll get there many many to cut scoreboard we got a good galaxy stone this one this big guy right here and on the inside these little pockets right here they're actually really really cool really beautiful so we're keeping that one and then the smaller one that we cut after that also has 80 qualities going on inside right there very very small that's kind of running into it little itty bitty pockets so hopefully we get some bigger pockets and in my bin of galaxy stones I got a bunch of smaller ones and we'll just uh, we'll cut through a whole bunch of these here cut through those pretty quick got some pretty cool stuff going on in here really beautiful agate characteristics going on in there that's really unique love how it runs 
runs around comes in here runs around so cool this one was pretty bland but these Aga pockets they run a little deeper up in so that's kind of neat it's got some very little very little Aga bands going on and I was gonna say if we get any really good stuff I'll put some good pictures up at the end with uh, the macro lens on so definitely stay tuned for that this guy right here had a really really cool <laughs> really cool agate coming out right here and I was hoping it'd run through and it didn't but I thought this would be a really cool piece to turn into a cabochon so I cut it a little thin right there so we'll be working that one in the future so I had some agate bands agate goodness going on in there I like that little circle right there that was pretty neat this one's just a mess <laughs> I had high hopes for this guy right here a lot of pockets really really beautiful on the inside I really like that that is some really really interesting bands right here that's cool gonna move on to another batch and we got some really interesting pieces this one has a ton of agate bands on the exterior and looks like it's just running all over in it a couple of very classic looking galaxy stones a lot of pockets and this one has a lot of little amethyst vugs in it so I'm gonna try I'll probably only be able to get one swipe out of there because it's kind of broken up here and you can see there's some natural fractures going on so it may fracture but we're gonna go for the biggest surface area with this cut really excited Well, I was right. This one did fracture. It's a bit of a stinker. These ones cut pretty good. This one I don't think had a ton going on. Looks like there's some little itty bitty pockets. Oh, there's totally Aga bands in these little guys. That's cool. That legit looks like a little heart. Well, that's pretty neat. We'll definitely get a macro shot of that little heart. I was excited about this one. I haven't looked at it yet at all. Cut it right between that iggity area. Oh, dang. I was hoping it'd run deeper, but that is sweet. I love that. That is really, really pretty. Let's look at this broken up. Oh, man, alive. I wish this didn't break. That is such deep purple. That's all purple. Look at all those amethyst pockets. That is so cool. I've never ever cut one that has so much amethyst in there. Oh wow. That's sweet. So now we're gonna cut open a couple of big boys. I'm gonna slab this one into three, three to four slabs. This one's gonna take a while. <laughs> it still has moss in there. Yeah, um, I could see this one breaking up a bunch, but I'm going to make probably to get the most out of it and the easiest way to cut it because of the size. I'll cut it this way as many times as I possibly can. I was pretty excited because we got five pieces out of this stone right here <laughs> and look at how many we got out of that you can see by the colors and everything going on this is special I haven't looked at it in its fullness I got some glimpses this is insane but this one right here I was happy because there's some little itty bitty pockets in there there's they're kind of hard to see Little, little egg of pockets though. A little bigger on that side. See one right there. And 
I like that guy right there. That almost looks purple. It looks like another amethyst pocket. So that's pretty sweet. But the big guy right here, this one is the king. It takes the cake. It's got so much going on. And because, like I said, we're going to be losing these red bits on this, it has this red stuff all over the slabs. So I'm going to head back in and I'm going to clean all this up because we have a lot to look at from just the first glimpses that I've seen. Like, look at that right there. Look at that. Yeah. That's gonna be sweet. Let me get that cleaned up and we'll show you everything. I got that big galaxy stone with all that eggity goodness all cleaned up and I'm so excited to show you and take a closer look myself. But I just wanna say, if you guys are liking this video, do me a huge favor, leave a thumbs up. I had a lot of fun cutting all these up and I'm really, really pumped that the last one that we cut had all the good stuff. So let's take a look. Alrighty, so here's that big guy. I haven't even counted how many slabs we got out of this that including the butts one two three four five six seven eight slabs eight to look at we'll start at the small end here and even the small end has some really cool agate characteristics going on inside check that out. oh those bands oh yeah <laughs> that's so cool Wow. Oh, that's sweet right there. So orange. So, so orange. Oh, check that out. Part of an eye. Yes. <laughs> that is sweet. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, an even bigger, <laughs> an even bigger part of an eye. And another one! It looks like part of another one! Oh my goodness! Potentially another one! <laughs> Look at that! That is spectacular! Oh my gosh! I suppose those are eyes running through from the other one. Oh, that is so neat. Look at this big pocket! That is cool. Double eye! Double eye! Oh my gosh! Oh, I can't believe it. I'd say as far as galaxy stones go, this one probably for consistency through the slabs takes the cake as one of the best. It's not as packed as that one I showed at the very beginning of the video. But man, oh man, it's got a lot going on. I'm sure you guys can see why I love galaxy stones so much. They're just so fun. They're a big gamble. I mean, as you saw with all the other cuts uh, it's not always a guarantee but when you get a good one <laughs> boy is it fun that's a pretty for this one it's a pretty decent size eye in this so even though with the rest of these they weren't as cool as that big one but I mean that amethyst one was that was pretty sweet and there are a few other ones that were really really cool but um, there was a lot of micro beauties in this bunch, so I'm gonna pop my macro lens on like I said, take a couple pictures and show you some good stuff. Well, that about wraps up this video and I had a ton of fun cutting all those pieces up. I really hope you enjoyed it and I want you to know this will not be the last Galaxy Stone cutting video that we make. I have this really big chunk right here. It's full of egg nodules and the big old quartz pocket in there. High hopes for this piece. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. And the best part about this thing is... Hope you enjoyed it, and I want you to know I. Uh, uh.